Welcome to Investigating the Universe, the place where we unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. Today we're diving into a mind-bending topic that has fascinated scientists and sci-fi enthusiasts alike, interstellar time travel and the enigmatic wormholes. We'll be journeying through the fabric of space-time, exploring the concept of wormholes, their challenges, and their profound impact on time. So are you prepared to dive deep into the cosmic unknown? If so, buckle up. A thrilling interstellar journey awaits us. Before we delve into wormholes, we need to grasp the concept of space-time. Imagine you're standing on a trampoline. This trampoline is a two-dimensional representation of our three-dimensional universe. Now, place a heavy ball in the middle, and you'll notice the fabric of the trampoline warps, bending downwards. This, my friends, is a simple yet effective analogy for understanding space-time. Think of the universe as the fabric of the trampoline and the heavy ball as a massive object, like a star or a planet. When a massive object is placed in the universe, it causes a distortion in the fabric of space-time, much like how the ball distorts the trampoline. This warping or curving of space-time is what we perceive as gravity. So, when we say that Earth orbits the Sun due to gravity, what we're really saying is that Earth is following the curve in space-time caused by the Sun's mass. Now let's take this a step further. Picture two heavy balls on our trampoline universe. As they distort the fabric around them, they also affect each other. The dents they create in the fabric draw them towards each other. This is precisely how gravity works between two massive bodies in space. They distort space-time around them, and this distortion causes them to move towards each other. But space-time isn't just about space, it's also about time. You see, time isn't separate from space. Instead, time and space are interwoven into a single entity, space-time. Just as space is affected by gravity, so is time. The stronger the gravity, the slower time passes. This is why time runs slightly slower for someone at sea level, where gravity is stronger, compared to someone at a high altitude, where gravity is weaker. Now that we have a basic understanding of space-time, let's move on to the next concept. Imagine if you could fold space-time and create a shortcut that's essentially what a wormhole is. Now let's dive headfirst into this fascinating concept. Wormholes are theoretical passages through space-time, predicted by the theory of general relativity. They're like tunnels with two ends, each in separate points in space-time. Think of it as a cosmic bridge, if you will. One end could be in your bedroom, and the other end could be on a distant star thousands of light years away. This isn't just some wild science fiction fantasy. The idea of wormholes comes from Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen, who used the theory of general relativity to propose their existence in the year 1935. They called them Einstein-Rosen bridges, and they're an integral part of the fabric of the universe, woven into the very essence of space and time. So, what makes wormholes so special? Well, they could theoretically allow for shortcuts through space. Let's say you wanted to travel to a star that's 10,000 light years away. Without a wormhole, using conventional methods of travel, it would take you, well, 10,000 years. But with a wormhole, you could potentially get there in a blink of an eye. It's like having your very own cosmic express lane. Here's where it gets even more interesting. Wormholes aren't just pathways through space, but also time. That's right, if they exist, and if we could navigate them, wormholes could potentially allow us to travel through time. But, and it's a big but, we have yet to find any concrete evidence of wormholes. They remain purely theoretical at this point, but that doesn't mean scientists aren't looking or that they've given up hope. So wormholes could be our cosmic shortcuts, but how would we travel through them? Well, that's a question for another scene, and it's filled with challenges and mind-bending theories. But one thing is for sure, if we ever discover how to successfully navigate a wormhole, it would revolutionize our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Wormhole travel isn't as simple as stepping through a portal. Imagine this, you're at the gateway of a wormhole, ready to traverse the cosmos in an instant, but it's not as easy as taking a step forward. Wormhole travel presents a multitude of challenges, each more daunting than the last. Firstly, the energy requirements are immense. To keep a wormhole open, you'd need something called exotic matter. This isn't your everyday run-of-the-mill matter. 
This is matter with negative energy density. Now, theories suggest that such matter could exist, but we've never actually observed it. We'd need a lot of it, too. We're talking about an amount comparable to the mass of a star. That's a tall order, even for the most advanced civilizations. Then there's the issue of instability. Wormholes, as we understand them, are not stable structures. They're prone to sudden collapse, high radiation levels, and even potential contact with dangerous matter. Imagine being halfway through a wormhole when it decides to snap shut. Not the most pleasant thought, is it? Moreover, wormholes are purely theoretical. Despite their prevalence in science fiction, we have yet to find any concrete evidence of their existence. We've made strides in understanding the mathematics behind them, but as of now, they remain a concept, an idea. Even if we were to overcome these hurdles, there's the question of navigation. How do we control where the wormhole leads? It's not like you can plug in coordinates and end up at your favorite exotic galaxy. Mapping the cosmos through wormholes would be an endeavor in and of itself. And finally, let's not forget about the potential time dilation effects. Traveling through a wormhole could potentially lead to significant differences in time passage, meaning you could return from your journey to find centuries have passed in the blink of an eye. Despite these challenges, the concept of wormhole travel remains one of the most intriguing in physics. It's a tantalizing idea, a promise of the ultimate shortcut through the universe. But for now, we're left with the challenges and the dreams. Assuming we could travel through wormholes, how would this affect time? Let's delve into this intriguing question. To begin with, we need to understand the concept of time dilation. In the realm of Einstein's theory of relativity, time does not tick at a uniform rate everywhere in the universe. Instead, it slows down when you're moving at near light speeds or when you're in the vicinity of a massive object like a planet or a star. This is not a hypothesis. This is a scientifically proven fact. GPS satellites, for instance, need to adjust their clocks to account for this phenomenon. Now, let's bring wormholes into the equation. Wormholes, as we've discussed in our previous segment, are hypothetical shortcuts through the fabric of space-time. But what happens to time when you slip through one of these cosmic shortcuts? Well, that's where things get really interesting. In theory, if you could travel through a wormhole, you'd be moving from one point in space to another faster than light would in normal space. And because you'd be traveling at such incredible speeds, you would experience time dilation. In other words, time would slow down for you relative to someone who stayed back. If you spent a few minutes zipping through a wormhole, years, decades, even centuries could pass by in the outside world, depending on the characteristics of the wormhole. On the flip side, if the wormhole connects not just two different points in space, but also two different moments in time, then we're talking about a bona fide time machine. You could enter the wormhole and emerge in the past or the future. This is purely theoretical, of course, and fraught with paradoxes, but it's a tantalizing prospect nonetheless. Interstellar travel and time travel, all in one, the possibilities are mind-boggling. Indeed, the implications of wormhole travel on time are profound and could reshape our understanding of reality itself. From Star Trek to Interstellar, wormholes have captivated our imaginations. We've journeyed together through the vast expanses of space-time, pondering the mysteries of the cosmos and the tantalizing possibilities of interstellar time travel. We've unraveled the fabric of space-time itself, examining its intricate weave and the threads that might allow us to traverse the universe in ways we've only dreamed of. We've delved into the enigma of wormholes, these cosmic shortcuts that could, theoretically, transport us to distant galaxies in the blink of an eye, challenging our conventional understanding of time and distance. Together, we face the daunting challenges of wormhole travel, recognizing that these theoretical bridges across the universe are not without their perils. We've grappled with the reality of their instability, the need for exotic matter, and the immense energy required to keep them open. Yet, despite these obstacles, we've also explored the profound impact of wormhole travel on time. We've contemplated the potential for time dilation, the possibility of time travel, and the mind-bending implications of such journeys. 
The journey has been vast and complex, but the allure of wormhole travel continues to fuel our curiosity and our exploration of the universe. The potential to leap across cosmic distances, to glimpse into the past or future, keeps us pushing the boundaries of our understanding. If you enjoyed this journey through space-time, remember to subscribe to Investigating the Universe, and don't forget to like and share this video. Until next time, keep looking up.